All right, this comes brings me to the accuracy portion of the Ed Gun Lathe one year review. Uh, as you, if you have not been keeping up with my videos, <clears throat> you'll know that my, for the most part, the Layla at 50 yards shoots MOA. I would say, uh, <clears throat> right around half inch groups, maybe a little under. And then at 75 yards, they're right at MOA, three quarters of an inch. And then it starts to open up at 100 yards uh, to about, on a good day with like this with not much wind I can get a 10 shot group to about an inch 1.6 inches and uh, um, it's only been my accuracy of this thing has only been getting better um, there's truth about the uh, both the Walther barrel after it's been shot thousands of times it begins to get smoother and smoother and shoot better and better. And I can see that the, after about four to 5,000 shots, which I'm not lying, I got between four and 5,000 shots in this Leila. I'm getting <clears throat> better and better accuracy. What the heck is that? So I'll show you. I'm shooting straight from the tin and I'm going to be loading a magazine because the Leila... You don't, you don't bench rest, so you're not going to be doing a single shot tray. This is a hunting platform. It's small, it's short, it's compact for walking through the woods. So I'm only going to be loading a magazine. With, and I'm not going for a group, so I'm going straight from the tin. And I'll show you. We'll see what happens. Right now, like I said, there's not much wind. It's been raining all day. And the wind completely died down after the little storm that went through earlier. It's wet and soggy. It's still sprinkling time to time. But the reason I'm out here is there's absolutely no wind. Or barely like half a mile per hour. I can just see the tops of trees just barely moving. So <clears throat> I don't have an indoor range. So I think this is today will give the Loyola the best absolute stance when it comes to accuracy see what happens all right here we go 50 yards I can Layla again very little wind uh, here, this is one yard one year review okay I zeroed it I shot this in the dirt just a minute ago off camera it's right on wait uh, yeah it's right on so I'm gonna, gonna move it over a few clicks so I don't cover up my orange circle. I need that to line up shots. My orange dot. Ah, oh, it's right on. Dang. All right, I guess I'll just leave it. Dang. Dang it. Three. Four, I was a little higher. Still a MOA. Here's a fish shot. That's five shots. Well, it's going to be five shots top of each other if this works out. That's four shots, I believe.
Oh, one high shot. What the? This is a 10th shot right here. All right, that's 10 shots. Check this one. Yeah, let's do 10 shots. All right, I just shot that group. Um, as you can see, pretty much one hole with one high one. Might have been me. I think I might have screwed up. I have to watch the video, but. If you count these, that's clearly under a half inch. From here to here is a half inch. From the center of this dot to the edge of here, just below the edge of there is a half inch. So that is sub MOA cover. That's my thumb right there. My thumb covers those and then one slightly high. So if you add center to center to the lowest one, to the highest one, center to center, it's probably just a hair above half inch. So it's just a hair above MOA, 10 shot group. I only do 10 shot groups, so that's pretty good. Let's see what I can do at 100. Hey, just great, I just shot that 50 yard group. Now the wind started picking up. As you can see, or here. All right, where's my target? Dial. So you can see in the back, the wind now picked up from, from nothing five, ten minutes ago, eight minutes ago, and got dark and windy. So I'm in an attempt 100 yard shot right now. 100 yards. One. I gotta shoot quick so the wind doesn't change. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's my windy group. You gotta shoot fast when there's the wind. I think it's two inch. We'll see. We had just a little bit of rain. I waited 10 minutes, refilled the gun. I shot a two inch group very quickly to combat the wind. And now it looked like the wind died down a little bit. I'll try for some real groups with my Layla. It's been about 20 minutes since I shot last, last shot the group. We had a small sprinkle. And now that, the wind died down again. There we go. Two. Three. That one's a little low. Four. Five. Six.
Oh, that one's still left. Seven. Oh, I feel a gust in my face right then. Must have been a gust on there. Eight. Nine. It's the last shot. Ten. All right, that wraps up the accuracy portion of the Edgun Layla. Uh, the first 50 yard group when there was almost no wind was nine shots with below sub MOA. And then uh, eight minutes later, some clouds started rolling and I shot this group. I didn't touch the dials at all, so that's wind. And then I waited another 20 minutes and the wind a little, there was a little lull in the wind. The wind died down, and then I shot this group at 100 yards. So, okay. This one was up like this on the target. And this one was like, like, this, like this on the target. So you can see the wind drift. This one was, I think, a little bigger than two inches. And this one was about an inch and a half. From here to here, it looks my estimation from here to here, 10 shots, about an inch and a half. So, not perfect. I guarantee if there was no wind, I was shooting indoors, I could get probably 1.2, 1.1 inches, 10 shot group with this Layla. If I sorted ammo and did everything right, it's almost an MOA gun. And for this short of barrel, you can't complain about accuracy with that. Was assisted to kill as many as possible. Five yards across the valley. All right, this brings me to the toughest part of the video. With you know, I thought this would be difficult but you know but as a if you do a review you got to be objective with air guns just because you kind of fell for one found the perfect one you can't you have to be objective and you have to tell it how it is at least one point um, so I uh, to decided that I have to come up with some things that I wish would be changed with the Layla um, First off is the charging handles. I wish they were stainless steel and they didn't oxidize or have rust on them. They tend to get rust and I put oil and brush them. They still discolor from the salt in my hands. Um, and two, I wish you could buy a stock a laminate stock instead of a walnut. They come in walnut and you can upgrade the walnut stock. You still have a walnut stock. And I really like these laminates. They just feel so much harder, stronger, they look nicer. So 
So I wish Ed Gunn would do that. And then the last thing I got talked about the Ed Gunn gauge. All the Ed Guns now come with the digital gauge, which when I first got it, I thought was absolutely great. I thought it was the coolest gauge. I love to see the exact bar pressure, the shot count I've left, and how many, how much I use. I mean, it had everything on it. I just loved it. But then, after about six months, it began to wear. I noticed how difficult it is to, you have to look at it, press the button, you have to take, oftentimes take off your gloves to find the button, press it pretty hard, activate it, wait that extra two, three seconds for the show, I mean, or maybe a second, still it seems like a long time. You have to get in the shade, look down the barrel. So I replaced it, I ended up replacing it with the analog. And another thing, in cold weather, this one started acting up. As the battery started getting low, it started acting weird, turning on, not shutting off, giving false readings. So I ended up replacing it for $30 analog I got from Ed Gun West. But I do like this thing. If, oh, I would have kept this if they could find a way to replace the battery. I mean, I have this watch I've had for five or six years. It had, runs off a solar panel. On the face if they could put that solar panel in here and run it off and every once a week or at once every two weeks just set it out in the, the gun out in the Sun let it charge like a day like this I could set it against a tree and charge it for an hour I mean if the watch can do it why can't a pressure gauge do it so those are my uh, ideas for improvement. So, I hope you like the review. Um, another thing is, if any other maker, anyone else has a gun who thinks they can compare and they want me to do a review to compare it to my Layla, you can send it, but I have to warn you, like, I'm not sure any gun on the market, except for maybe one, could compare to this thing. I don't believe any maker makes them as durable, as simple, simple to work on, and as durable as that gun. Maybe one, but I, that particular brand, I haven't owned one yet. So I hope one day to own one and actually do a good comparison. So uh, if you have any more comments, any more questions, please email me in the com or com ask me in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed my. First ever air gunnery full review. Thanks.